guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're a super, super, super old school subscriber, like here before 1,000 1, subs, then this place might look familiar to you. This is my guest room. This used to be where I filmed, basically. I'm just really lazy and don't want to clean my room. And I have the one and only here. If you guys don't know her, then you clearly don't look at my videos because she's in like seven, six or seven of them. This is Daisy, this is my ferret. I post ferret videos occasionally and they get a lot of hate. So I decided today I would read and react to some of the hate comments because it's just a good opportunity and Daisy hasn't been in a video in a while. There's a bunch of videos about her where I tell you guys things that apparently aren't correct. So if you wanna see any of those, there'll be some at the end of this video and I can link some down below as well. But Daisy's just gonna be running around in this video because she can't do anything else. We're gonna read how I'm not a good mom to you, okay? Okay, basically, I get a lot of hate. I do want to preface though, before I begin, that I do get some nice people. I also wanna preface, I don't care if people like give me advice. I appreciate it and obviously, I never once claimed in any of my videos that I was like an expert on this or anything like that. So if people give me like actual advice, like I 100% will take it and I read them and stuff like that. But people are so mean. But there are people who are nice. I actually was looking through comments earlier and I had a really nice one and so I just wanted to read it before I start talking about the hate. Catherine, this was only two days ago, so you did a great job covering ferrets. I have three. Like you said, disregard the negative comments. Your generation is full of whiny, disrespectful Obviously not all of you, you sweet girl. Parents should have to take a test to reproduce and that would take care of human waste running rampant overpopulation. But enough harping, my question is, how long did your other ferret live? I appreciate it and I laughed at it, but I know that it's kind of like a backhanded thing because she's like still giving like hate but the other people, but like, girl, thank you. But the first one is from four months ago and it's called Watch This Before Buying a Ferret. And I actually, recorded this for who's next and then saw it was doing well on there and so when we stopped using that channel I just switched it over to my channel and this video has almost 200 thumbs down so uh let's just let's get into some of the hate this is not hate but this is really funny your ferret is going to evolve into a watermelon I wouldn't be mad I really enjoy watermelons the, the fact that you say ferrets with red eyes creep you out is honestly asking for hate if you really love animals red eyes ain't no issue people are like entitled to their opinion you're allowed to like not not, it's the same thing with humans like humans I mean some people don't care but like people be like oh yeah like I like guys with blonde hair and blue eyes or I like people with brown hair and brown eyes like it's a preface like you're allowed to have those it doesn't mean that you hate animals because I didn't want one with red eyes some people like the ones with red eyes more like it's just in this one like I get a lot of these that say you always have to have two ferrets or you should have two ferrets or something like that and I had two at one time at one point and my ferret Daisy was not a fan she wanted nothing to do with the other ferret so I know that like it's good and they won't be lonely and stuff like that but my ferret personally we tried it she wasn't a fan that's me being a better owner because my ferret didn't was not unhappy if that makes sense basically I like my friend was allergic to her ferret so it stayed here for honestly a month in a different cage than Daisy but right next to each other and so it wasn't like the spirit was in Daisy's place or anything like that and like we let them play together and Daisy just never she didn't like it that doesn't make me a bad owner and like I think that's the thing I get frustrated about is that like people just sit there and say all this stuff I want to find this other one because I just <gasps> someone was saying you don't clean it ear. like I'm not gonna be able to find the comment there's so many of them but it was like you don't clean their ears you don't do this like you don't do this with her like you do that like all this stuff and I'm like guys these are literally like seven minute videos you don't know everything about my life because of it okay you don't know anything about like my ferret's happiness because of it and it drives me insane and I give so much prop to animal channels because I guarantee they get so much hate you are doing in caps everything wrong. My ferret's been alive for almost five years under my care. I clearly can't be doing everything wrong if she is still alive. Just saying. Oh my gosh, you're carrying her wrong. Not enough hugs and poor cuteness. Okay. Someone literally, I'm not gonna find this coming. I should have screenshotted these. I'm not smart. Someone was like, you're not staring at your ferret enough. Your ferret needs attention for five to ten hours a day. You need to stare at it. Me staring at my ferret in a cage is not gonna do anything. Telling me I'm not staring at my ferret enough is a little... Why the f do you assume I'm gonna buy a ferret? I don't, but you also clicked on a video about ferrets, so you're clearly interested about something. Just saying. Someone said, you ramble. Have you ever been to my channel before? That's all I do about anything. Blah, blah, blah. I wanted something concise, not this blather. I'm not, it's cool. Like you click the video and it's some teenage girl with purple hair. Like, do you expect me to be some like 
veterinarian who's studied ferrets for the last 10 years of our life. Like, no, I'm just a girl who makes videos for fun. I just, I mean, I guess it's my fault. Like, I'm, I'm totally taking blame for all the hate I get because obviously I said it, but it's like, guys, come on. Like, I don't, I don't know what you expected. You look like Mr. Potato Head. Okay. My favorites are the ones that are just, you're doing it wrong. No, like, advice or anything, just... No, you're not doing it right. It really helps. I, I, I really learned from that. Okay, so we're gonna go to another video that I have because, yeah, it's titled uh, Meet My Ferret, dot, 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 again, updated ferret care in cage tour. And I get so much hate about my ferret cage and I don't understand. She likes it, it's like four or five stories and she plays in it all the time. There's only one of her. It's the biggest cage that the store sold and the most, I know not it being the most expensive has no correlation to it, but like, I just don't get how, I genuinely, so like if you're watching this and you like know, like if you've seen my other videos, like why that cage is incorrect, I would love, I would actually, not me being sarcastic, like I really wanna know. I personally don't understand how someone trying to give advice on how to improve your fair's life is hate. Instead of brushing off what others have to say, maybe listen a little, it can't hurt to take a comment. This isn't being disrespectful and it's clearly just trying to be helpful. Seriously, it can only improve your fair's life. I agree. Never disagreed to that. However, people don't do it nicely. I took into account a thousand percent like the baths and stuff like that because apparently I was bathing my ferret too much and like I get like I'll take and like you know what I mean? When people are like there was one that was saying like a typical millennial like doesn't know how to take care of an animal. How does being a millennial have anything to do with taking care of an animal? Like Okay, so that video actually didn't get as much hate as I thought it did. I don't know where I read these hate comments from, but I, I see them all the time, everywhere. Okay, I'm done. I feel like I've spent enough time today reading hate comments. <sighs> I know I do it to myself. I deserve some of them. I get that. But I really do appreciate all of the loving comments I get about, like, that I'm not a terrible pet owner, that Daisy's really cute, or that I'm really put it I really do appreciate those, and those go more noticed than, like, all of the hate combined. And, yeah, Daisy is... A She's busy right now, so Daisy's not gonna say bye today. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, do all that fun stuff that you do. If you guys have any more like ferret video ideas that I could do, that's not just misinforming everyone. Then let me know, cause I like doing pet videos. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.